Hi, this is Dr. Centeno, and I'd like to talk to you about some consumer testing that's offered by the Interventional Orthopedics Foundation on lots of different things. This morning on a cord blood product. So basically, there is a uh, cord blood product called Invitra ECM suspension. Uh, we had gotten word from a number of different providers that the company was claiming through its sales reps that there were live stem cells in this suspension. Uh, some of their materials uh, suggest the same. So these providers asked the IOF to test in vitra ECM to see if, in fact, there were some live cells here. And these are some of the tests that were done. I won't go into them in detail here because I'd like to go through this information quickly. Bottom line is the first test is an automated cell counter. That's the cell counter that was used there off to the left. In this test, live cells stain green and dead cells stain red. And you can see up here on the left that we have a fresh control um, and what I mean by that is that these are cells that were isolated fresh from a patient, and that's what those cells would look like. You see a lot of green in there for live cells. This is a dead control. These are cells that we actually killed in the lab on purpose, and you can see a lot of red cells. So in this stain, red is dead. And you can see that both the in vitro uh, suspensions show predominantly dead cells. Now, this is a, a different look at that same data, now more graphical. Here, again, uh, live cells are the green line and dead cells are the uh, red line. And you can see, again, predominantly dead cells in the in vitro. And this is a, a similar uh, summary report. So you can see here that the live cells are 94% viable, which is what we'd expect. The dead cells, the cells that we killed as a control, are 5% viable. And both samples of the in vitro are 5% viable. So, dead. Now, this is flow cytometry. And flow cytometry, what you need to recognize in the way this flow uh, diagram is set up, is that if we're looking at dead cells here, the dead cells are going to show up in this quadrant in the flow cytometry. And you can see here that that's what happens with the dead cells that we tested. These are the cells that we killed in the lab as a control. And then you can see an awful lot in this quadrant here for the in vitro, which again indicates via flow cytometry that we have lots of dead cells. In fact, what you don't notice is anything over here, uh, which would be where the live cells would live. So. Again, no live cells, tons of dead cells. And this is a different type of graphical representation of that same data. Notice that the unlabeled uh, or the dead control is 99.7% uh, dead, and the in vitro is 95.9% dead. So there may be a few living cells there, but not many. This is a dead cell product. This is fluorescent microscopy, which basically now looks a little different. Here, uh, we have a uh, dead cell stain. And this is just uh, another way to look at this data. We didn't find any cells that labeled as living in this fluorescent microscopy study. In cell culture, uh, this is really the final test, right? While we might have a few percent of cells that are living, uh, in this case, I don't know, three, four, five percent in the in vitro, are those cells living but dying, or uh, are they actually living but truly viable? And if they were living but truly viable, we would have seen some growth here in this cell culture. In particular, we're looking for mesenchymal stem cells, which is really what I'm concerned about as an orthopedic provider, and we didn't see any living cells here. So again, another test that shows that uh, this is not a live cell product. So in summary, uh, the TriPan blue exclusion test showed 95% dead, 
The Cytox uh, dead stain showed 95% dead. Uh, another test showed 100% dead. And then we saw no cells uh, that were able to be grown out at all from this uh, sample of in vitro. So bottom line is this is a dead cell product. Anyone using this product that can that tells patients that they are injecting live viable stem cells is committing consumer fraud. Now that's not surprising with any of these products uh, because the way they're they're collected, the way they're processed, and then the way they're cryopreserved and then recovered would indicate to me, as someone with lots of uh, experience with advanced cell culture, that you're gonna get lots and lots of dead cells. And, and this one's no different. So have a wonderful day. I hope you understand all this. I know this is a lot of complex information, but I think it's important information to get out there. So thank you so much.